guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tamara, if you're new here, and I'm living simple, taking it one day at a time. Y'all, I have been needing to take it one day at a time lately. Um, I am experiencing a lot of uh, pain and discomfort in my midsection. And right now, I'm going through a lot of tests and stuff. And right now, there are no answers for me. So if you guys would just keep me in your prayers, um, you know, I don't know what's causing all the discomfort and all the pain and everything that I'm experiencing recently. Um, but we're just gonna continue to work with my physician and, you know, keep um, praying and hoping that God will show the physicians what they need to find to make me feel better but until then let me just uh tell you that you know i've had some really rough days um last week really rough days um to the point where i i had to stay in bed and really rough days to the point where i couldn't work or do anything around the house or anything and so saturday rolled around and Basically, you know, Wayne was like, you know, you've been stuck in the house and you've been feeling bad. You know, are you feeling any better? And with some new medications and things like that, I have been, I have started to feel a little bit better and feel more like myself again. And so we decided that we would go to Carter Mountain where they have like an apple orchard there. And the scenery, you guys, it is about five minutes from Charlottesville, Virginia. And it is absolutely beautiful. It's breathtaking, the views um, from the mountaintop, which is where you actually, you drive up the mountain and the apple orchard is at the top of this mountain. And so they have all kinds of apples and Wayne and I, uh, we went there and we drove up there and we didn't spend a whole lot of time um, but we did uh, get in like a little walk through the orchard and we got a couple of apples and we were able to so we're out here at Carter's mountain at their apple orchard and Wayne's getting some pictures some fall pictures for me and uh, I got me a little apple I picked myself and uh, try and take a little hike before lunch so how you like it so far babe so far pretty good it's warm out here it's warm out here we did go for it was about a 10 15 minute hike through the orchard um, before my knees really started to you know bother me and so we went up there and um, we took some really beautiful pictures, um, got a lot of pictures of apples and got a lot of pictures of, you know, the, the old truck picture that was just absolutely phenomenal. I, I knew Wayne was going to love that. That was kind of like in the middle of the orchard. And so really like that. For some of you, um, you'll, you know, that have been watching the channel, you know that I replaced all of the photo, all the pictures that were hanging around my house that I got from all kinds of places. I got them from antique stores. I got them from Hobby Lobby. I got them from just everywhere. I decided that I didn't want those hanging in the house anymore. That what I wanted to have hanging was photographs that were taken by my husband, Wayne. He has such an eye for photography and I can take the exact same picture y'all that Wayne takes and it looks, it does not look the same. It just doesn't. When Wayne takes the photographs to me, when he takes the photograph and I look at that photograph, it's almost like the photograph tells a story and it's alive in a way. And so I wanted to be able to show that throughout our home. So the next thing that we did on that adventure that day was on the way back home we found a new little treasure um, it's called the Gilmore farm 
and just love this place. Y'all, I would live in this home. That I, I really would live in a house that looked like this, that was built like this and looked like this. I would totally, I would totally move into this house. Um, the property was, you know, really pretty and there was um, some old uh, fencing back there on the property. We got to see uh, where the family was buried at and just got a little bit of history on the Gilmore farm. I thought it was kind of cool too because you know y'all I'm a big Gilmore Girls fan. I love watching the Gilmore Girls especially in the fall and in the winter time you know traditionally but I just thought this was cool because as we drove by it was like the Gilmore farm and I'm like oh cool I don't know who these people are or anything but let's go check that out and it was free and so we you know took a little tour of it uh, you couldn't go inside the house but you could look in the windows and so got a picture uh from inside you know inside as much as i could with the with the camera but uh, yeah we took a little hike there as well um through the woods to get to the family cemetery and just you know found some other things to photograph but really enjoyed you know spending some time there and seeing the workmanship and the craftsmanship of how they put this house together way back in the day and y'all i would live in that house i really would you all know i'm a farm girl i am a i'm definitely a country girl and i love farms i love farm animals little tiggers down here y'all oh <laughs> there he is there's my little tigger you're my little tigger oh, cute aggression cute aggression moment of cute aggression mm, 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 mm. okay um, where was I? Oh, so anyway, I replaced all of those photos and now I have pictures that are in frames of photographs of Wayne and some of my favorite places where around, you know, around our state. And there are such beautiful photographs in these pictures. And what I am going to choose to do is I have some photographs that are hanging on a wall in my living room and what i'm going to do with those is i'm actually going to um, replace those every season with photographs that wayne does for me so like this weekend in particular he took pictures of the apple orchard and things like that and so I'm going to make it a point to get those developed and get those put in those six frames uh, just to have for fall. And then, um, yeah, so, and, and basically I took the frame, I took the, they had plexiglass in them. I got these from Walmart and they had, and the frames came like that and they had plexiglass in them so they were extremely um lightweight on the wall so they are hung on the wall with command strips but the plexiglass had such a glare on it and even when i tried just regular frames with with glass in it there was such a glare on the pictures that we decided to take them out leave the mat in but take them out and just you know hang the picture the photograph is the art. And so that's the plan for those six pictures. I wanted to show these because I had said I was going to show these a while ago, but I had forgotten to do it. But as you can see, a lot of these pictures are actually from Graves Mountain in Virginia. And um, there is, some of them are from um mineral virginia and then there's one here that is just one of my absolute favorite pictures and some of you 
um, commented, you know where this is at, and um, it's in it's between Culpepper and Orange, and it is just they've let it go, and it's just sitting there, and the weather and everything is just destroying this building, and it is just. To me, it's still just as beautiful today as it was when I was a kid. And I wanted Wayne to capture that one simply because of the fact that it was, um, it was on a road that I passed a lot as a child. And I, it's just something that may not always be there. And so I wanted to make sure that I captured that and, and that I was able to have that as part of my art on my walls in my home. And so I just wanted to kind of share those uh, pictures with you because I hadn't shared those uh, yet. And those were actually the first set of photographs that my husband Wayne took uh, after he got his camera from our son Alex. And, um, yeah, so they were beautiful photographs and I loved them. And what will happen is I will take a binder and I will get some clear sleeves. And when I change these pictures out, I will put them in the notebook with the sleeves and they'll just be sitting on the coffee table as a coffee table kind of book, you know, that you can flip through. But, and that way I can kind of rotate them and change them out and I can change, you know, like I may want this one this month and then this one the next month or whatever. And so it's just a way to, to keep those images, you know, uh, rotating through the house and, and just, you know, for me to, when I see them on the wall and I see those images, it just reminds me of the love that I have for the land and the love that I have for the, you know, the farm animals and the farms and the barns and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to show you a little, uh, I don't know, a little artisan shop um, haul that I got as well while we were out. Um, and these came from... Uh, one of my favorite little artisan stores or shops called the Old Roosting Box. And it's near Lake Anna, Virginia. And uh, stopped there. First one, let's do the first one. Okay, the first one was, let's do this one, is this just casserole dish. It was five bucks. And I can just see having chili on a cold winter's day in this little, um, this little casserole dish. So I really liked it. And as you can see, it's got um, little star designs on it, star designs on the top. So it almost kind of looks like it's a round cake, sort of, something like that. Anyway. I don't normally do this color. I don't usually do browns. I usually do white with everything, as y'all can tell. But something just said this, and, and it, it just resonated with me. Put chili in this. <laughs> so I got that. And then the next thing that I got was this little gravy boat. And it was only $3. And I just thought it was super, super cute. Who don't like gravy? I'm sure there's some people out there, but this this country girl loves gravy. And it has little, you know, you could say they're daisies, uh, but daisies to me are usually white. So I'm gonna say these are sunflowers, uh, little sunflowers, because Wayne told me that's what those yellow flowers on the side of the road uh, growing in the ditches and stuff during the winter time or in the, in the fall, that's what they are. He says they're sunflowers, they're not daisies. So, yeah, he informed me thusly of that on the way up the mountain. But anyway, so I got this. It says gravy on it, which I thought was really cute. And it was only three bucks. And I just thought it was, I, I really thought it was cute. You know, and like I said, normally I go with more of just plain white. Um, but I just, I don't know, 
it was whimsical and I liked it, so I bought it. And then the last thing, this thing is heavy, y'all. This thing is heavy. I don't know if it's supposed to be a doorstop or what, but this thing is like cast iron. It is so heavy. But isn't it the cutest thing? <laughs> and I really do, like it's it's got like a little piece missing out of its tail right here. And I do think this is cast iron. I really do, because of the weight of it and everything. I think maybe it was supposed to be a doorstop or something, y'all. But I love it. I'm gonna use it on my little shelf in the spring because you know, little little rain boots always remind me of April showers bring May flowers. And as you can see, the boots have got the sunflowers on them and they're just so pretty. And so, yeah, and I just like the color of it and everything. So yeah, and that was $10. So that was my little whimsical treasure thing there. Well y'all, that's gonna do it for another video. I am so happy that you stopped by for another visit. I wanna encourage all of us to try to get outside and enjoy the fall breezes and the beautiful changing of the leaves and the acorns falling on the ground. Even if it's just outside your own back door, y'all, there's always something beautiful out there to see. Well, until next time, let me just leave you with God who created all of us, y'all. He loves us so much. And guess what? I love you too. Until we meet again, let's all try to be kind to one another, okay? And I'll see you again real soon. Bye, y'all. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful day.